Happy Saturday everybody! I'm coming to you with the fourth step to joy and I'm really excited about this one as I said yesterday because it's about ourselves and quite often we don't think about or want to spend time looking after ourselves properly. So these are a few steps that I'm hoping you'll think, yeah I won't feel guilty about that, I will take that on board. So. It's all to do with the solar plexus. We've moved up a chakra. This is the third uh, coming up from the bottom chakra. So this is yellow. It's a vibrant sunny colour and it's the largest of the chakras and it's a, a lovely warming um, introspection kind of place. And I've mentioned that before and that's about looking into ourselves and what makes us tick. That's a funny phrase, isn't it? But it's basically what do we do in our lives that makes us feel great and that we want to do again. And sometimes we won't give ourselves the pleasure of revisiting that activity because maybe we think we don't deserve it, we're not worth it, but we are. If we can't be 100% an amazing person, then we can't give to others. And giving to others is something that we're all trying to do and yet sometimes that falls apart as well so start with yourself maybe charity does begin literally at home in our own home bodies and um, I want you to think about yourself and also your soul <clears throat> your soul so you're thinking about what is it that really makes me feel contented joyful, harmonious and balanced and by that I also mean vibrant so it's not just flat but it's actually quite spirited and awake and alive. So what I have done is a mind map with my name in the middle, lots of little arrows around and then all the different activities and places and people and things that I like to occupy my day on a normal basis or even during this lockdown time. So it's really good little exercise to do. You don't need anyone else to participate. You need um, never show it to anyone else. Just have it for yourself with your name in the middle and then put down all your activities. And some ideas might be maybe you've got some hobbies, maybe you like reading, gardening, different kinds of exercise. Um, maybe there's certain people that you like spending time with that make you feel better. You come away from them actually feeling better. Um, and that's quite a difficult thing to write down because there might not be names there that you thought would be. So be truthful with yourself. It's only you that's going to see this. Um, also, you might want to write down different foods that you like eating or clothes you like wearing, things that make you feel better. Um, I suggest that we all take time looking after ourselves physically as well. Yes, I've talked about exercise yesterday, uh, yoga, but also how about some TLC? So I like using natural, vegan, animal friendly products and it makes me feel good to use them. I use them every day and it helps my skin and I, I, I'm very lucky I don't now have any skin conditions or any issues and so I can go from day to day knowing that I'm putting back into my body, into my skin and I make my own uh, natural body creams with aloe vera and apricot oil or avocado oil and then I'll add some essential oils and maybe some shea butter and I'll make this up and then every time I make it, it's slightly different each time because the body shouldn't get used to one concoction of food or, any, or whatever it is. And then I'll apply it every morning after my shower and the smells are amazing. So if you're wanting to invest in essential oils and you want something for yourself and you want to splash out a little bit more than the standard essential oils, you might be looking at ones like Jasmine rose, neroli, um, those are probably the three top, uh, if you like, slightly more expensive ones. They only come in tiny little bottles, probably two mil bottles, and you will find they'll be about 20, 30 pounds each. 
um, but they smell incredible and you want to mix them with something else because you want to make it go further so maybe with geranium or lavender or some of the citrus fruits be careful with citrus this time of year because if you're going to be applying citrus so for instance in a conditioner a face cream a body cream a body oil um, and then going out into the sun the citrus ones will pigment the skin so just I wouldn't use citrus unless it's something that you're washing off like a shower gel or shampoo um, but there are other ways to find a citrusy smell so for instance eucalyptus stegariana or eucalyptus citriodora are beautiful ones that are lemony in scent so that's another way to get that citrusy smell so um, invest in yourself and once we're able to again go and have a treatment go and have a treatment every week or every month or every six months just something to make you feel better about yourself do that investment it is worth it and you'll find out such a lot more about yourself so I, I suggest it. Obviously, I'm biased, I'm a therapist, but I have seen huge changes in people that have regular treatments. Um, it doesn't need to be expensive, it doesn't need to be weekly, although that you know, would be amazing if you want to do that. Um, I'm just talking like once a month, once every six weeks, it's worth it. Um, another little tip is to hug yourself. Um, I tried this yesterday because I wrote it down ready for today and I thought that is an odd thing to say. I'm going to try it. So I hugged myself and I imagined because of lockdown and not being able to get many hugs at the moment, I imagined someone I love hugging me and I just held there for quite a long time. And when I hug people, I tend to hug for quite a long time. It's not just um, a function hug it's one of those that really means it I I because I hug people I love and so I hugged like this and then I moved my arms and I hugged like this and I could feel my fingers on my back and I could feel my arms around my front and it's a really nice thing and actually you're telling yourself you love yourself and this is really important we need to love ourselves so tell yourself you don't have to say it out loud but think it and it's a really nice affirmation I love me what's wrong with that so love yourself and it comes from there and then you can give much more love outwards once we love ourselves so sometimes i tell my heart i love my heart i love my liver i love my kidneys and when i'm doing my exercise and my yoga i'm often doing these self affirmations so that my kidneys will go oh thank you i feel much better now <laughs> And you probably think I'm crazy, and I probably am, but hey, join me and see how that goes. It, it should feel really good. Um, so what else do I want to mention? So just nurture yourself, look after yourself, treat, um, and all those things with that mind map. That might be going outdoors, spending time, just go and sit in a field and watch, you know, watch the sheep or or the wildlife, or the birds, and listen to the bird song at the moment. I mean, in the evenings, mornings, it's, it's just electric. It, it's what's keeping me going. So lots of love, love yourselves, and I'm, again, looking forward to tomorrow. See you then. Bye.